Written stories have been around since the beginnings of written language. With the invention of paper and then the printing press, the typewriter, and now computers, there has always been a place for books. Now, here we are on the cusp of a new era, and once again, books are at the forefront of our future in the form of electronic books. Digitized forms of the literature we know well. We can read them on computers, iPods, the iPad. We can send them anywhere in the world without shipping costs. Or we can read them using readers such as the Amazon Kindle or the Sony Reader. Or even rent them online from the library. It's so easy to find books and purchase them from the internet. At any given moment, we can have thousands of books at our fingertips. So why aren't we completely converted to this easy, much less cumbersome way of handling literature? Because we live in a world that is in love with the written word. A world that values physical things. It makes sense that we are still quite attached to our physical books. But with the undeniable convenience of ebooks, it's just a matter of time for them to be a societal norm. Schools could use ebooks to cut costs on textbooks. Ebook subscriptions could cost significantly less than printed textbooks. They would save on paper and would be an extremely innovative way to cater to students with issues like dyslexia who have problems reading printed textbooks. Devices like the Kindle are easily modified for the reader's needs or preferences. One of the main challenges that people face in the digitalization of one's literary library has to do with the reliability of electronics and data storage. Often it can be challenging to ensure that personal data is protected and immune to damages that electronic devices may incur. This is rather easily remedied through many kinds of data backup devices. They can be found in the form of external hard drives, flash drives, or web-based file storage. Financially, it is also currently unrealistic for most people to purchase devices that read ebooks, like the iPad or the Kindle. Doubtlessly, however, the prices of these devices will come down over time and with increased popularity. In short, the current issues with ebooks are outweighed by the great benefits that they can and doubtlessly will provide. It is only a matter of time for this new way of reading to be a part of everyday life.